It's Wednesday, it's, it's Pizza Wednesday, so we have um, Mancino's Pizza today. This is my favorite pizza. Coloring contest, so the new fixation of the coloring contest is Mr. Matt Pilot at first. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to get Matt to look like this guy over here. One thing that blew me away yesterday, I was looking at Reading Chief or something, and I ran across the end of week one build event in Houston that they were conducting and they had matches. I think it was called the Minimum Competitive Concept Conference. In the matches that I saw, I saw two robots precariously placing cubes on the scale and then a lot of robots placing a lot of cubes on the switches. And they were pretty darn good at doing those things. There was the EveryBot from 118, there was Orion's robot. There was just one robot that all it had was a Lexan platform. That's all it had. No moving parts, just a drivetrain Lexan platform. And that was scoring cubes in the switch. They would just stop and the cube would slide off going to the switch, done. High grip wheels. So these were the high grip wheels that are in the kit of parts. They've been the tried and true wheel in the kit of parts for, for many years. Um, we also have some variants of these wheels. We have a black wheel and a blue wheel. You gotta put on a wheel to win that match against that alliance and you want a lot of traction, this might be that wheel. Don't expect this wheel to last more than a match or two. I what? think that's true with the four inch wheel, but the six inch wheel seems to last a couple matches. Okay, maybe because it's a, there's more tread area. Maybe it's a two match wheel. Yeah. Fine. So this is a lower drometer wheel. Yeah. And we get calls from people saying, well your your wheel wears down. Like Yeah. That's the trade off. That's the design decision. So this one will last a longer time. It's seventy five to eighty durometer or something like that. And then this one is I think sixty durometer here. And then this one's fifty durometer. As the durometer, which is describing the softness of that tread. As the durometer goes down, so does the wearability. You might wanna buy a few sets of these if you do this. You might wanna go a few matches with this and then switch them over to this. I don't know what you wanna do, but. I just love selling robot parts. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got, right a couple, we've got a couple options with bumper numbers. I know it's not bumper number season. We came up with a new bumper number, and I wanna talk about bumper numbers because I think in update three, they, they bring up bumper numbers. And I guess people were asking, since FIRST is now embracing this more of an international platform that they have, you gotta put Arabic numbers on your bumpers. No Chinese numbers, no Roman numerals. We have a couple different numbers. We have the tried and true sticker that's just a singular number. And sometimes these things are like 3.96 inches long and they should be right at four. I think we can round up people. I think four is is okay, but that's just my opinion. But we do have a new one here where you take this 88, you blew out you know, all these segments here to make that a seven or blew out this one here to make it a six. The Magnum Sharpie is the best one that does this for blue and we also have a red version. So that way you don't have to, you don't have to pick the exact number, you just pick a bunch of these and put them on your robot and mark out the segments that you don't want to be shown and you have a robot team number, Shazam! In my opinion, is they're better. This provides a lot more surface area with how with how they stick to the bumper. These are, they, they fall off more and I've seen people at events get disabled because their bumper numbers fall off. So anyway, these are better. It's also style to here. Would that be considered Andy marketing? <laughs> well, <I> think... <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you should ask, because the, the oh guy that came up with this was, was the king of puns himself, Bill Fred. Team Update 3, they did come out with um, some logic regarding the um, plate and light lighting assignments and which ones are red and, and um, blue. There was a very long, tedious Chief Delphi thread about this, and now we've got it update three. Good, good job, Chief. Also, good job for FIRST for staying connected to the community. I mean, it's no secret that you're, Frank you're, Merrick himself reads Chief every day. Basically, they fix the possibility that one alliance may have a more difficult autonomous than the other alliance. Say, so Einstein is now fixed. Yeah, Einstein is now fixed. Yay. Yeah. I do want to highlight one of Frank's blogs. Personally, I've had some friends that sadly, misunderstandingly, tragically committed suicide. Frank did a service to us all by giving us all a reason to be aware of suicide, pointing out some resources for people who might be depressed or um, this, is hard, this is hard to describe, might need help 
There's a first staff employee, Martha Dickey, that had a son. Her and her husband have a son that committed suicide, sadly, this past year. And they're being very public and open about it. And I think my hat goes off to them and my, my heart goes out to them about this tragic loss. But also, I applaud them for being very vocal about it, for bringing this issue up so that we all could be aware and look for signs that that people might be struggling. Through this build season, we all get stressed out, we all get, we all work hard, we all love what we do, but also look for your friends to make sure that everybody's being picked up and carried if they're feeling down. If we can post the suicide prevention hotline here somewhere, I, I'm sure we can show this video to somebody who might be depressed and tell them that we care about them. This morning I was catching up on first updates now, candidly speaking with Karthik and Libby and um, Why not? Clint. I wanted more Renan. I wanted less of those three and more Renan. So I love the fact that Renan from Israel was on there. He's a good friend. He's a good dude. And if you don't know Renan, you need to get to know Renan. He's a good guy. He vented on Chief. He had a good reason to vent on Chief, but I think it got some attention for this issue. Um, we all need to get to know our international teams um, better. More international teams on more shows like that. Make it happen. Now, Nathan. I'm going to break some of these <laughs> coming up next. You want to do an outro? We'll see you on Friday. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll see you on Friday. We'll, have, we'll go out to lunch. I'm sure somewhere fantastic. Um, be safe. Have fun. Bye. <laughs>